Looking for some awesome Android applications to check out? Well, let's go. First application is called Dracor and with this application, you can say goodbye to manual USS dialing or even manual SMS action. The application records each step used to perform a particular task and then saves it. So whenever you want to perform that task again, you just let the application do it for you. Especially since USSD operations can take very long, why not sit back and allow the application to serve you? Setting it up is also very easy, just tap on the plus button, create a request, select the request type, give it a name, save it and then you get a prompt for recording. The application records each step you take to perform the task, tap on save and then henceforth you no longer have to go through the 4 or 5 step process of that particular application. It's a very cool and not so popular application which is very much worth checking out. LibreTube is an awesome YouTube alternative which you can use to not only search and watch your favorite YouTube videos but you can also turn the videos into audio and listen from the application. With no accounts required, you do not get recommended videos like on the original YouTube application but that's less of a problem for me. With this application, you get a beautiful UI and an ad-free experience. Some of the awesome features of this application are Picture-in-picture -picture mode which will make you forget YouTube Premium. You can also choose to switch between audio and video forms of a particular video. Tap on the lock icon to prevent accidental touches on the video when playing. You can also visit the settings and you'll find some incredible settings which you can make for better app experience. Aside all these awesome features, you still get to save videos for later, download videos for offline playback, add playlists, subscribe and view from the subscription tab. I think it's a fantastic alternative application for YouTube. It's a free application and cannot be found on the Google Play Store. I mean, it's expected since the application has so many extra features to counter the original YouTube application. Yes, so I'll leave the link for you to download from FDroid. Installate is a very simple application and what it does is translate any word you seem not to understand in a semi-transparent window as you read any article or story. To make it work, long press on the particular word you've come across, tap on the three dots, tap on installate and then you get an explanation of the word from the installate application in a transparent window. You can adjust the opacity to your liking and also change the dictionary the translation is coming from. The best dictionary to use for the translation for me is Wikipedia dictionary. So go to the settings. Under the provider, you can change to any online dictionary. You can change the font size and also adjust the background for clearer view. I think it's a super cool but simple application which is unfortunately not on the Play Store. I'll leave the FDroid link in the video description. If you are looking for meal recipes or the appropriate grocery shopping list for specific meals or budget-friendly ways to plan your meals, then this application called Budget Bites has got you covered. Seriously, this application has created lots of recipes for foods in several categories including vegetarian recipes, breakfasts, chicken recipes. All the recipes available in this application is free and you can follow them to prepare the best versions of your favorite meal. The best part is, the application provides a video or image step-by-step -step process for preparing your meals. Add the banana, peanut butter, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and milk to a blender. Whether you want a quick breakfast or a long well-prepared supper, the application also provides an estimated time which every meal would take to be prepared. You get to find out the total number of ingredients you will need for each meal and then either order from the application through Amazon or buy the ingredients yourself, follow the step-by-step -step process and get it done. Guys, if you love best Android apps videos like this one, then consider supporting the channel by subscribing and also liking the video. I've got more best apps videos for you to enjoy. Although Smart Launcher has been one of the very well-known launchers on the Google Play Store for a very long time, the latest releases of this application has some awesome UI features that caught my attention. Smart Launcher 6 is all about structured layouts. You get all your applications automatically organized in categories for easy navigation in the app drawer. All the widgets and icons on the home screen follow a certain balance on the home screen grid. This always makes your home screen very pleasing to look at. When you swipe left on the home screen, 
you get a news feed with various categories powered by Microsoft. Aside all these, you still get basic launcher settings like changing the grid size, icons, fonts, folder settings and more. You get the default icon layout and you can change to the circle layout or even download more smart themes. So if you want to try a different third-party launcher application, then give this one a shot. As always, my list of best Android apps will not go without a to-do list or a note-taking application. And so for this list, Pinit is a simple and easy to use to-do and reminder application. I find the UI of this app very unique. I think it is the font they used. You get to add your task and schedule it. One thing I like about this one is the task recurring or repeat option. Most task pinning apps do not have the recurring feature unless it's a fully featured to-do application. So for alternative to-do applications, check out this one. Flodia Diagrams is an application you can use to draw all types of charts like flowcharts, mind maps, various networking diagrams, business process diagrams and more which you can save in PDF or in image formats. Mostly students or businesses like to create such diagrams on PCs, so the fact that you can draw these charts easily on the go makes this application very reliable for users. It is free and available on the Google Play Store, so if it's an application you will need, feel free to check it out. You can find more best Android apps of the month when you click on the card at the top right corner or visit the end screen of this video. If any of these applications will be very useful to you, then leave a like on the video to show your appreciation. You can also consider subscribing to the channel for more best apps content. As always, thank you for watching.